Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to evaluate whether or not the following series are uh, divergent or convergent. The first one is sigma k times k plus 2 divided by k plus 3 with the power of 2 when k changes from 1 to infinity. Okay, the second one is sigma 1 plus 4 with the power of n divided by 1 plus 3 with the power of n when n changes from 1 to infinity. The third series is that sigma 2n2 minus 1 divided by n2 plus 1 when n changes from 1 to infinity and the fourth series is sigma ln n2 plus 1 divided by 2n2 plus 1 when n changes from 1 to infinity. Okay, the reason I chose these four series is that um, using the same test, you can evaluate all these uh, series. Okay, and that, t that test basically tells that if uh, limit a n, when n goes to infinity, the is not equal to zero, or if it does not exist, then you can conclude that the series a n, when n changes from one to infinity, is divergent, okay? So using this test, you can basically evaluate all these uh, series. So let's look at the first series, okay? The first series is that, uh, sigma k times k plus 2 divided by k plus 3 with the power of 2 when k changes from 1 to infinity. So this one, you can write it as sigma k2 plus 2k divided by uh, this one, k plus 3 with the power of 2, you can expand it, that will be k2 plus 2 times 3 times k, that will be 6k, plus 3 with the power of 2, that is 9. When k changes from 1 to infinity. Okay, so now let's calculate the limit of uh, a n here. Okay, or in this case, will be a k because we are using k here. So the limit of k2 plus 2k divided by k2 plus 6k plus 9 when k goes to infinity will be equal to limit so you can uh, divide the, the um, uh, numerator and denominator here by k2 so k2 divided by k2 will be 1 plus 2k divided by k2 will be 2 divided by k divided by k2 divided by k2 is 1, 6k divided by k2 will be 6 divided by k, plus 9 divided by k, okay, when k goes to infinity, okay, and that will be equal to 1 plus 2 divided by infinity is 0, 1 plus 6 divided by infinity is 0, 9 divided by infinity is 0, this will be equal to 1, okay, and since the limit of this term is equal to one that is not equal to zero, then using this, uh, this test, you can conclude that this series is divergent. Okay, so therefore the answer is this series, the series of k times k plus two divided by k plus three with the power of two when k changes from one to infinity is divergent. Okay, that was number one. So let's look at the second series. The second series was that number two was that sigma one plus four with the power of n divided by one plus three with the power of n when n changes from one to infinity. Okay? So let's calculate the limit of one plus four with the power of n divided by one plus three with the power of n when n goes to infinity. So to calculate this limit, let's divide the numerator and denominator by 3 with the power of n. So that will be equal to uh, limit 1 divided by 3 with the power of n plus 4 divided by n, 3 with, divided with the power of n, divided by 1 divided by 3 with the power of n plus 
3 with the power of n divided by 3 with the power of n will be equal to 1. And when n goes to infinity. Okay? And this one will be equal to limit. Uh, uh, n goes to infinity. So 1 divided by 3 with the power of n n is infinity, 3 with the power of n is infinity, 1 divided by infinity will be equal to 0, plus uh, that you can write it as 4 divided by 3 with the power of n, 1 divided by 3 with the power of n is 0, plus 1. So therefore this will be equal to limit n goes to infinity, 4 divided by 3 with the power of n. And since 4 divided by 3 is more than 1, therefore this tends to infinity because a number that is more than 1 with the power of infinity is infinity. So this means the limit of this term, the limit of a n does not exist. Again, based on this theorem, we said that if the limit is not equal to 0 or does not exist, then you can conclude that the series is divergent. Therefore, you can conclude that this series is divergent. Okay? Divergent. Okay? So, now let's look at the third series. The third one was that sigma 2n2 minus 1 divided by n2 plus 1, n from 1 to infinity. That's the same story again. So you need to calculate the limit 2n2 minus 1, n2 plus 1, when n goes to infinity. So let's divide the numerator and denominator by n2. That will be equal to limit uh, 2n2 divided by n2 will be 2 minus 1 divided by n2, 1 divided by n2, divided by n2, divided by n2 is equal to 1, and 1 divided by n2, okay? And this one will be equal to 2 minus uh, 1 divided by infinity is 0, divided by 1 plus 1 divided by infinity is 0, which will be equal to 2, so, which is not equal to 0. Again, according to this test, when the limit of I a n is not equal to zero, you can conclude that the series is uh, divergent. Therefore, the conclusion here is, according to this test, this series that is two n two sigma two n two minus one divided by n two plus one is divergent. Okay, and uh, let's look at the last example. The fourth series is that sigma ln n2 plus 1 divided by 2n2 plus 1 uh, when n changes from 1 to infinity. So again you need to calculate the limit uh, ln n2 plus 1 divided by 2n2 plus 1 uh, when n goes to infinity. And this is equal to ln limit, you can bring the limit inside the ln limit uh, n2 plus 1 divided by 2n2 plus 1 when n goes to infinity. Okay? The same story as before, that will be equal to ln limit. You can divide the numerator and denominator, uh, denominator by n2, that will be equal to n2 divided by n2 is equal to 1. 1 divided by n2 will be 1 divided by n2 divided by 2n2 divided by n2 will be 2 plus 1 divided by n2 when n goes to infinity, which will be equal to ln. So this will be uh, 1 plus 1 divided by infinity is 0, 2 plus 1 divided by infinity is 0, which will be equal to ln 1 divided by 2, which is not equal to 0. So according to this test, when the limit a n uh, is not equal to zero when the limit a n is not equal to zero, which is the case here. Therefore, you can conclude that sigma a n is divergent. So therefore, this series will be divergent. Okay? So, uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you are interested, please feel free to subscribe in this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.